been trying to do this for weeks. <sighs> yeah. It's going really well. Something in my teeth. Awesome. Hello. Welcome to my Christmas edition Bath and Body Works candle haul. So every year I order a bunch of candles uh, for Christmas gifts, for teacher gifts, for my staff, for um, just hostess gifts. They're really great for that. And I wait for the sales to come on and then I order my candles. I usually order um, body stuff too, like body wash and moisturizer and stuff like that. But I haven't done that this year. Maybe I'm waiting for that sale. So anyway, I am going to show you the candles that I bought. And uh, if you've ever seen a candle video by me before, you know I like to rename the candles from the original names that they're given. If you can hear background noise, it's a Saturday. My kids are home and they have a friend over. Gotta film when you can film. So let's start, shall we? I bought a bunch of the single wick jar candles, which to me, I think they were bigger last time. That's what she said. Anyway, um, the... I bought one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I had eight of the of the single wick jar candles, and I have four, no, five of the three wick larger ones. So let's get into it. So the first one is spiced apple toddy. I have like major glare going on here. I don't know why you're gonna see it, but it, can you see? Can you, is it focusing? I don't. Know. It's this like maroon burgundy color. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. Um, I like it. What does it what does it say for the notes? It doesn't say. It's kind of a little sweet. It's kind of got a little cinnamon, but sweet. You know what? It kind of smells like a cosmo. Like it kind of has that like fancy drink smell. So yes, we have a fancy cocktail. Uh, kind of has a cranberry kind of smell to it. I don't know if it's apple or I guess it's apple because it says on it, but it's more of like a cranberry. It's a cinnamon Cosmo. Okay, next up we have Snow Place Like Home. This is, it's called Falling Flurries, but the jar says Snow Place Like Home, which is kind of cute. So it will kind of work for an after Christmas um, candle as well. It's not, it doesn't scream Christmas, it's just kind of winter. Mmm. Okay, it has very fresh laundry kind of, but not floral. Yeah, it has this kind of fresh, maybe slightly lavender. Okay, we're calling this winter laundry. Um, Falling Flurries is now winter laundry. We also have frosted cranberry. I have the soap of frosted cranberry that I actually broke out today. Okay, that definitely has more of cranberry than the other one, but the other one is mixed with cinnamon, so. You know what, it kind of has the scent of, do you remember those old body wash, not body, body shop perfume oils? There was definitely a body shop perfume oil that smelled like this. Definitely a body shop um, reminiscent of the body shop. So let's uh, call this. So let's call this one Body Shop circa 1992. And then we've got Fresh Balsam, which is my favorite. I love this one. This is probably, I reorder this one every year. The kids are loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, it's got like leaves on it. Leaves. What is wrong with my brain? Trees on it. Oh yeah, it just smells like really classic forest. Like, they're happy about something. It smells like when I used to go cut a Christmas tree with my dad in the woods and he was so cranky. And I would try to like make up for it by singing Christmas carols really loudly so that it would piss him off even more. This one is Forever Grateful mahogany balsam so this one is um again got that balsam fir tree 
Oh, this is Christmas Man. Now that is Christmas Man. But yeah, this is this is Christmas Man. Mahogany Balsam. I must look I must check that old video and see if that's what it was that I called my Christmas Man. Yeah. Christmas Man is back again. And I'm happy about it. Okay, this is Mary and Bright Crushed Candy Cane. So I'm assuming there's some sort of mintiness to this. It's for the cute candy canes and Santa Claus on it. Oh yes, okay. But yeah, it's got a peppermint, like those peppermint wheels. Like not candy cane necessarily, but like those peppermint wheels that are kind of sweet. But I mean, it's crushed candy cane. It's exactly what it smells like. So I feel like I can't really rename this one. I can't believe I'm failing on this. Anyway, yeah, it's exactly what it is. We have two left of the little ones. Wow, and now there's sirens. I can't catch a break. I cannot catch a break. Uh, here we have Tree Firm. I think I was really on a tree kick when I ordered these. Oh, really? Okay, back to Tree Firm. This one's a lot milder smelling though. It does smell like trees. I mean, obviously, because it says tree firm. Does this one have the notes on it? None of these little ones have the notes on it. It smells like a flower shop, like a garden center flower shop um, at Christmas. Yes, Violet. Okay, now the last one of the little candles is Winter Candy Apple. Um, I've had this in a body lotion one time and it was, I remember it being nice. So Winter Candy Apple has a little sleigh. So it has a slight sweetness, but also uh, because of obviously candy. But there's something else. It does kind of remind me of a, a lip smackers. I don't remember which one. Or those kissing coolers. Remember those little ones that look like bullets? It was definitely a kissing coolers that was like this one. There we go. And that's all for the little ones. The little candles. Now I have the big three wick candles. And they come in cardboard boxes now which makes it really easy to wrap because I used to always want to get the cellophane bags to wrap these because they're hard to wrap because they're round. But so this one is a winterberry wreath. And it's just, it's really a pretty, you know, shiny red. And I thought it would work for after Christmas too, but I think this might have the notes on it. Yes. It says winterberry wreath, fresh pickled orange, juicy blackberry, and warm vet, vet, vetiver, vet, vetiver. I don't know what that is. Let's find out. Oh, it's not at all what I expected. It kind of smells slightly like leather. Like it's it, it's quite masculine. I don't smell the orange in there at all. Mmm. It's nice. It does kind of it kind of smells like a man's soap. Anyway, yeah, that I like it. I like it. Not at all what I expected. This one is snowflakes and citrus, which I was just more curious about than anything. Like snowflakes and citrus. That just sounds bizarre. But, you know, it could also be another winter scent, not necessarily Christmas. And it has a little snowman on the label. It's very cute. So the notes on this one are juicy tangerine, airy beach grass, and sweet orange blossom. So where do the snowflakes come in? Oh yeah, that's very fresh. There is a slight citrusy scent to it. Very slight though. Very slight. Like, I bet you this will burn really nice. Oh, there's the sun. So yeah, snowflakes and citrus is not at all what I would expect for like a Christmassy, wintry themed candle. It does feel, feel like it's um, very fresh, very ocean. I mean, it's awesome, but I honestly don't know how else to describe it. There's a can, there's a little slight citrus note in there, but yeah, it's snowflakes and citrus. It's more like beach and citrus. 
but very hint of like suntan lotion. Very weird. Okay, tis the season. This is my absolute favorite Christmas candle. I buy one of these every year. And I have ooh, this one, which is left over from last year that I've been burning, which is a tis the season. This is essential Christmas candle for me. And so uh, this one is not going to be given as a gift. This one I'm keeping for myself. And look how pretty little reindeer. So the notes on this are rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedar wood. And it's perfect. It's the cinnamon with the sweetness of the apple scent and the wood, obviously. It's like all the things that make up Christmas. Cinnamon, sweet, and trees. So, sweet cinnamon wood. Tis the season is my favorite. My favorite, favorite, favorite. Anyway, we're down to the last two. So this one is called Holiday. I remember this one I bought a long time ago and I haven't bought it again since, so I can't really remember it. Mm -hmm. So this one um, has like ornaments on the label and the notes say red cinnamon stick, Christmas clove buds and ground nutmeg. So basically Christmas cake. It has a slight sweetness that I didn't expect. I thought it would be very spicy. But it has, it smells a little bit more like um, Red Hots, you know, those cinnamon candy. Like I'm missing the clove. It's very nice, but I am, it's more like Red Hots. Like those cinnamon hearts, cinnamon hearts. Not Red Hots, cinnamon hearts. That's exactly what it smells like. And the last one is Under the Christmas Tree. This one is also a gift because I have um, Under the Christmas Tree left from last year downstairs and it is very much tree. Um, this one has notes of fir, balsam, vanilla, eggnog, and sage leaves. Yeah, it, it, it's very strong of tree, but it has a slight vanilla and it's really, really nice. Yeah, so it's very strong, um, not strong, but it has, it's very heavy in the, the fir or the balsam um, tree, but the vanilla under it is, is nice, it adds a little something. So that one I really like as well. And I wasn't very successful renaming these, because of all the interruptions, I barely got through this. Bye. Yes, Violet. So thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and happy Christmas preparations because it's it's happening. Like it's gonna be here before we know it. Um, yeah. Good luck to you. Bye. Hmm. It does have a slight sweeter, 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 sweeter. Wow. What was that? <laughs>